Saffron helps reduce cancer, plus seven other earth shattering reasons you should be taking saffron. Is saffron the life saving supplement we have never knew we needed? Or is it just the next social media buzz vitamin that is not worth the hype or your hard earned dollars? Well today we are breaking it all down. What is saffron? Is it good for your brain? Can it help treat depression and increase your libido? And what does it do for your memory? Today we are going to be discussing the top 8 biggest benefits for taking saffron supplements. But before we get into it, hey everyone I am Dr. Jordan Wagner. If you find this video helpful please do me a favor and subscribe. Alright, let's dive right in. What is saffron? Simply put, it's the most expensive spice in the world. But not to worry, in supplement form it's not that expensive and should really be considered. I'm going to pump the brakes there. I'm actually getting ahead of myself. Saffron. Quick botany lesson. It's derived from the crocus sativus flower. Saffron specifically refers to the dried flowers or little red like structures or stigma. There is way more than meets the eye to the saffron story. It has been used by people for thousands of years and has many many medicinal and health promoting properties. Here are the top 8 reasons you need saffron in your life. 8. It's a powerful antioxidant. Not sure what antioxidant is? They are basically molecules that protect your cells against free radicals and oxidative stress. Free radicals are basically crappy unstable atoms that cause harm on the body damaging cells, causing illness, aging, diseases, you name it. If something is antioxidant or in this case an uber powerful thing that goes against oxidants, this plant compound can basically kick some serious free radical butt. Bear with me while I geek out here for a second. Saffron's all star antioxidant roster includes crocin, crocetin, saffronol, and camphorol. There won't be a pop quiz on that later. But just remember that those ingredients have these superhero type of protective powers for the body. They are responsible for things like the color of saffron and give its distinct taste and aroma. Some research out there suggests that these powerful antioxidants all protect the body against the bad stuff I mentioned earlier. And that's only the first reason you may want saffron in your life. Number 7. Libido. Time to get sexy for a second shall we? In all seriousness you might just be able to skip the oysters and toss out the dark chocolate because a new libido booster just headed into town. Yep if you want to um, get in the mood quicker or put a little extra pep in your step, saffron may very well be just that aphrodisiac you are looking for. According to researchers and several different studies, taking 30 milligrams of saffron daily over 4 weeks found significantly improved erectile function over placebo in men with erectile dysfunction related to antidepressants. The saffron was suggested to improve the overall function, libido and satisfaction. And in those who identified as women, a similar study found that taking 30 milligrams increased sexual desire and decrease sexually related pain compared to placebos. Number 6. Could treat depressive symptoms. Sayonara depression? So long to sadness? Well maybe soon. They don't call saffron the sunshine spice just because of its color. In fact this encouraging herb goes way beyond the call of duty when it comes to treating symptoms of mild to moderate depression. In one recent study researchers found that taking 30 milligrams of saffron daily was just as effective as some other prescriptions like fluoxetine or satanic and other prescribed medications that are used for treating depression. The studied patients in this trial also said they experienced less side effects from taking saffron than compared to other treatments. In other studies saffron supplements and placebo pills were both randomly given to patients. What they found was that the saffron supplements were significantly more effective at treating different levels of depression. Now if you currently take antidepressant medications I am not saying to ditch your current regimen altogether but maybe talk to your doctor about adding it into the mix with your other treatments. Maybe in the near future we will see saffron take on a much more larger role in treating depression. Number 5 reason you should consider saffron its anti cancer properties. Ok don't freak out but I am going to share with you a super scary statistic. Nearly 40% of all people will be diagnosed with cancer at some point in their lifetime. As you look around your classroom or your workplace and see 10 people hanging around, 4 of those 10 will likely get some form of cancer. Now for the good news, saffron is as I mentioned earlier super high in antioxidants. In other words it can neutralize harmful free radicals that cause damage to one's body leading to things like cancer. One published study from 2007 found that saffron and its compounds selectively killed colon cancer cells or greatly suppressed their growth in test tubes and did not touch normal 
non-cancerous cells. It rather left the normal cells unharmed. In other animal model studies, similar findings were found for skin, bone marrow, prostate, lung, breast, cervical, and several other cancer cells. Although not widely studied in humans yet, another promising study found that crocin, the main antioxidant in saffron, may make cells in the body more sensitive to chemotherapy drugs as well. So there definitely seems to be some promise in the cancer treatment department when it comes to saffron having anti-cancer properties. Number four, PMS. Did you know that a recent study out of London said that menstrual cramps can cause pain in the body that's almost as bad as having a heart attack? That, my friends, is terrifying. Although I have never personally suffered from them, I've treated a lot of patients who have pretty bad physical, emotional, and physiological symptoms occurring before and during the start of a menstrual cycle. Here's where saffron comes into play. In a study that followed women ages 20 to 45 years old, they found that taking 30 milligrams of saffron was more effective than a placebo option at treating PMS symptoms like pain, irritability, headaches, cravings, and so on. And yet another study of 35 women found that merely smelling saffron for 20 minutes at a time helped lower their stress levels of cortisol in their body and greatly reduced other symptoms like anxiety. Number three, weight loss. You know we all do it. We get these munchies that lead to gaining the unwanted weight. Fun fact for you, saffron may just be the solution to all your late night snack attacks. Want to drop a few pounds by spring break? Or heck, you just want your pants to fit a little bit better? Well, pay close attention then. According to one randomized study, folks taking saffron supplements reportedly felt more full and snacked less frequently than those in the placebo group. And over the course of the research, the team saffron group significantly lost more weight than those popping placebos. Although more research is needed to find out the exact reason why saffron aids in things like lowering BMI and snacking less, one possible scientific theory is that saffron elevates your mood, which is often associated with snacking less. Number two, heart disease. Yet another scary statistic. In 2018, nearly 31 million adults were diagnosed with heart disease and nearly one out of every four deaths are because of it, making it the number one killer. If you are scared of heart disease, maybe it runs in your family or you already have high blood pressure and other factors, saffron should really be considered. In animal and test tube studies, the crazy strong antioxidant properties were found to lower cholesterol and prevent blood vessels and arteries from clogging, which are some of the key risk factors for heart disease. Number one, Alzheimer's. Brain shrinkage, atrophy, brain cell death. Sounds like something out of someone's nightmares. <laughs> Sadly, no. It's a real issue that many around the world are dealing with. Alzheimer's disease and dementia caused by a progressive neurologic disorder that causes continuous decline in thinking, behavior, and social skills. It's just so sad to see someone go from fully independent and functioning to a steady decline over time and not being able to remember who they are, who their loved ones are, or even take care of themselves. All the more reason you may want to start thinking early about saffron. In a study that followed the effects of vitamin E, turmeric, and saffron in the treatment for Alzheimer's disease, researchers concluded that saffron's antioxidant properties may improve cognition in adults with Alzheimer's disease. All right, bonus time. That's not the only promising thing saffron could potentially be good for. Other studies out there suggest it could help improve eyesight in adults who have age-related macular degeneration, and it may also lower blood sugar levels and raise insulin sensitivity. All incredible reasons to start considering this uber-promising supplement. All right, feeling optimistic about your health and wanna know where you can get this legendary compound? It turns out that a lot of people around the world have been using it for their cooking and for medicinal purposes for thousands of years. If you're curious about trying it in a capsule form, I'll link to a really good saffron supplement in the description below. Do you take saffron or have you seen any improvements in your health? I'd really like to hear about your experience. If you want to find out more information about some super awesome supplements, check out this link right here to this playlist of information. And as always, please subscribe, turn those bell notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.